Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer on Monday the 19th of October. Today we celebrate the life of Henry Martin who was a translator of the scriptures, a missionary in India and Persia and he died in 1812. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, neither will he keep his anger for ever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he set our sins from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so is the Lord merciful towards those who fear him. For he knows of what we're made, he remembers that we are but dust. Our days are but as grass, we flourish as a flower of the field. For as soon as the wind goes over it, it is gone, and its place shall know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord is from of old, and endures for ever on those who fear him, and his righteousness on children's children, on those who keep his covenant, and remember his commandments to do them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 98 Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvellous things. His own right hand and his holy arm have won for him the victory. The Lord has made known his salvation. His deliverance has he openly shown in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his mercy and faithfulness towards the house of Israel, and all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sound praises to the Lord all the earth. Break into singing and make music. Make music to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the voice of melody. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, sound praises before the Lord, the King. Let the sea thunder and all that fills it, the world and all that dwell upon it. Let the rivers clap their hands and let the hills ring out together before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. In righteousness shall he judge the world and the peoples with equity. Lord God, just and true, you make your salvation known in the sight of the nations. Tune the song of our hearts to the music of creation as you come among us to judge the earth through our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Psalm 99 The Lord is King. Let the peoples tremble. He is enthroned above the cherubim. Let the earth shake. The Lord is great in Zion and high above all peoples. Let them praise your name, which is great and awesome. The Lord our God is holy. Mighty King, who loves justice, you have established equity and you have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God, bow down before his footstool, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron among his priests and Samuel among those who call upon his name, they called upon the Lord and he answered them. He spoke out to them of the pillar of, he spoke to them out of the pillar of cloud. He kept their testament. They kept his testimonies and the law that he gave them. You answered them, O Lord our God. You are a God who forgave them and pardoned them their offences. Exalt the Lord our God and worship him upon his holy hill, for the Lord our God is holy. Lord God, mighty King, you love justice and establish equity. May we love justice more than gain and mercy more than power, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Psalm 101 I will sing of faithfulness and justice. To you, O Lord, will I sing. Let me be wise in the way that is perfect. When will you come to me? I will walk with purity of heart within the walls of my house. I will not set before my eyes a counsel that is evil. I abhor the deeds of unfaithfulness. They shall not cling to me. A crooked heart shall depart from me. I will not know a wicked person. One who slanders a neighbour in secret, I will quickly be put to silence. Haughty eyes and an arrogant heart, 
I will not endure. My eyes are upon the faithful in the land, that they may dwell with me. One who walks in the way that is pure shall be my servant. There shall not dwell in my house one that practices deceit. One who utters falsehood shall not continue in my sight. Morning by morning will I put to silence all the wicked in the land. To cut off from the city of the Lord all those who practice evil. Keep us, O Lord, in pure purity of heart and faithfulness to your commands, that your servants may walk before you in the way that is perfect, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading from 2 Kings, the 17th chapter, beginning at the 24th verse. The king of Assyria brought people from Babylon, Katha, Ava, Hamath, and Sepharvion, and placed them in the cities of Samaria, in place of people of Israel. They took possession of Samaria and settled in its cities. When they first settled there, they did not worship the Lord. Therefore the Lord sent lions among them, which killed some of them. So the king of Assyria was told, the nations that you have carried away and placed in the cities of Samaria do not know the law of the God of the land. Therefore he has sent lions among them. They are killing them because they do not know the law of the God of the land. Then the king of Assyria commanded, send there, one, send there one of the priests whom you carried away from there. Let him go and live there and teach them the law of the God of the land. So one of the priests whom they'd carried away from Samaria came and lived in Bethel. He taught them how they should worship the Lord. But every nation still made gods of its own and put them in the shrines of the high places that the people of Samaria had made. Every nation in the cities in which they lived. The people of Lab Babylon made Succoth, Benoth. The people of Cuth made Nagar. The people of Hamath made Ashimah. The Averites made Nibhat Hayes and Tartak. The Shahavites burned their children in the fire to Adrameklach and Adra Ad Anamneklach, the gods of Sepharam. They also worshipped the Lord and appointed from among themselves all sorts of people as priests of the high places, who sacrificed for them in the shrines of the high places. So they worshipped the Lord but they also served their own gods after the manner of the nations from among whom they had been carried away. To this day they continue to practice their former customs. They do not worship the Lord, they do not follow the statutes or the ordinances or the law or the command that the Lord commanded the children of Jacob, whom he named Israel. The Lord had made a covenant with them and commanded them, you shall not worship other gods or bow yourselves to them or serve them or sacrifice to them, but you shall worship the Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt with great power and with an outstretched arm. You shall bow yourselves to him, and he and to him you shall sacrifice. The statutes and the ordinances and the law and the commandment that he wrote for you, you shall always be careful to observe. You shall not worship other gods. You shall not forget the covenant that I have made with you. You shall not worship other gods. You shall worship the Lord your God. He will deliver you out of the hand of all your enemies. They wouldn't listen, however, but they continued to practice their former custom. So these nations worship the Lord, but also serve their carved images. To this day, their children and their children's children continue to do as their ancestors did. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the earth shout and sing for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. On that day you will say, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the nations. Proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing God's praises who has triumphed gloriously. Let this be known in all the world. Shout and sing for joy, you that dwell in Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. All the earth shout and sing for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One. Today's New Testament reading comes from Philippians, the first chapter, beginning at the first verse. Paul and Timothy, servants of Christ Jesus, to all the saints in Christ Jesus who are in Philippi, with the bishops and deacons, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God every time I remember you, constantly praying with joy in every one of my prayers for all of you because of your sharing in the gospel from the first day until now. I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work among you will bring it to completion by the day of Jesus Christ. It is right for me to think this way about all of you, because you hold me in your heart, for all of you share in God's grace with me, both in my imprisonment and in the defence and confirmation of the gospel. For God is my witness. How I long for all of you with the compassion of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer, that your love may overflow more and more with knowledge and full insight to help you to determine what is best, so that on the day of Christ you may be pure and blameless, having produced the harvest of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. The Benedictus. We bring you the good news that God promised to the fathers he has fulfilled to us their children by raising Jesus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He's raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. We bring you the good news that what God promised to the fathers, he has fulfilled to us their children by raising Jesus. Let us pray. Today we pray particularly for the media and the arts, farming and fishing, commerce and industry, those whose work is unfulfilling, stressful or fraught with danger, and all who are unemployed. That this day may be holy, good and joyful, we pray to you, O Lord. we may offer to you our worship and our work, we pray to you, O Lord, that we may strive for the well-being of all creation, we pray to you, O Lord, that in the pleasures and pains of life we may know the love of Christ and be thankful, we pray to you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in communion with all your saints entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We pray to you, O Lord. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God, 
in a few moments of silence. Amen. And the collect for today. Almighty God, who by your Holy Spirit gave Henry Martin a longing to tell the good news of Christ and skill to translate the scriptures, by the same Spirit give us grace to offer you our gifts, wherever whatever you may lead, at whatever the cost, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you very much for joining me this morning for morning prayer. I do hope that each one of you will have a happy day and that you'll join me again tomorrow morning. Goodbye. <laughs>